So my talk is about uh, my experience as a gay person on the Sunshine Coast. Um, and because I'm not, we don't really like to out other people and talk about other people's experiences, so I'm just talking about my experience as a gay woman on the Sunshine Coast. And look at how I'm smiling. I mean, obviously, I'm super gay. <laughs> and I went to a superhero party dressed as super gay. <laughs> so one of the first things I found coming out was community. This is a group of us who uh, all went and hiked up to the top of Pender Hill about a month ago and we regularly get together for uh, potlucks, um, film nights, games nights, dances, and uh, we're really there for each other. Um, this was commemorating uh, signing over a check from Stonewall Pride last year for the Child and Youth Suicide Prevention Committee from the Stonewall Pride Dance, for the monies we raised from that. Um, it was way more than they were expecting to get, so that's great. This was, we went, Candace of Talese Tours offered to give us a pride paddle for the volunteers who put on the dance, which was incredible. So we had um, First Nations drumming and singing, and then a guided tour around Seashell Inlet, and it's a really good example of sort of cross-cultural um, blending that happens in our community on a regular basis. This is the church I usually go to. It's Anglican. It's one of the few in North America that can do uh, same-sex blessings, and they're part of the New Westminster Diocese that uh, had all the troubles, and uh, it's very welcoming. This is our, yeah, my friend Sandy is here. Uh, this was at last year's Pride Dance, and that's our poster for this year. So June 29th at, at the Roberts Creek Hall, I'm on the Pride Committee for that and I do the marketing and website for it. Uh, we do have a silent auction, so if you have anything you'd like to donate, that would be great, it's all fundraiser. The ubiquitous potluck. I was really nervous when I got invited to my first potluck because, you know, what does it mean what you bring? Do I bring chicken breasts, ample thighs? I decided the banana split. <laughs> and I walked in and someone said, what did you bring? And I said, oh, banana split, and they said, Oh, that, that would be so great if you did. And I said, no, I did. <laughs> and I, no one had ever had banana splits at a potluck before. <laughs> um, artistic, there's a, as you know, um, Marina was up. There's a very big uh, women's community on the coast. And a, a lot of women are involved in the arts. And those can be construction arts, all kinds of things. People come here because they like it. It's peaceful. It's not got a, sort of a segregated gay area. We are just living our lives like everybody else, and we come here for the same values that everybody else has. You know, it's the wilderness, it's the peacefulness, and uh, we feel at home here. Uh, cross border, you see British Columbia. We are the only Canadian, the Sunshine Coast is the only Canadian participant so far in the welcoming project. You can sign up for this, it's free. You get a little icon to put on your website and a sticker for your door and you get listed in their online directory. So you can ask me about that. So the gay uh, GLBTQ community includes bisexual people, uh, leather, the bears, which are, you know, sort of the big guys, uh, hairy guys, gay, um, transgender, and uh, asexual, which is uh, really interesting and requires some people to really think about what sexuality means to them. We're often hidden, and a long time, we're, I was closeted until I was in my early 40s, and uh, you know, it'll be great when it truly is the same as everything else, so people just are who they are. Um, we're musical and political, and uh, uh, Nicholas is both, <laughs> and they're a great couple. They're lots of fun. We once geocached in Powell River, and all of a sudden, we're at the corner of a garage, and Nicholas and Scott drive up, and we're geocaching their house. My sister, the first time I tried to come out, they said, we can't handle it, you can't be gay. The second time, she went to a farmer's market in Qualicum Beach and brought that back for me. <laughs> it's on my fridge. <laughs> 
We're following our dreams. Um, this picture was taken by Powell River Living Magazine. This is Kelly and JP who just bought uh, the old courthouse inn about eight months ago in Powell River and it is an old courthouse. The basement is jails, which they're actually gonna put to use, I hear, um, <laughs> as rooms. Um, sometimes things are rocky, you know, I haven't personally experienced any homophobia, but I know of people who have. I know of kids who have been really bullied and, you know, I, I know of someone who committed suicide, so uh, it's still not easy for everyone and it took me a long time to really come out. And I think, uh, you know, there's a lot of people in the, in the gay community up here who have been around a long time and they are very pioneering especially, I've, just from my personal opinion, butch women, because they took it on the chin when they came out in the 60s and 70s and were a visible symbol of gayness. Now, I took this at the Seashelt Farm Market on a June afternoon, and these two young guys were walking down the street holding hands, and I asked if I could take their picture for Big Pacific, and they said yes. And nobody batted an eye. They were just a part of the crowd, and I was, I was so happy, I think I cried. Um, it does require some bravery, which, you know, chicken, brave, chicken, brave. And this is the part where I have to ask my partner, Diane, to stand up. <laughs> Diane, you're my soulmate. I've waited for you my whole life. going to be a real special night tonight, so come, come and have some munchies. With this ring, it's I promise I'll always love you, always love you. With this ring, I promise I'll always love you, always love you. They used to call me the one love. 